The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award winning author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon and Paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war wing author Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mian Mosin Zia, available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by me and Molson Zia's garden. Great reviews and even love and enjoys by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for goes Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, also on PayPal and Anchor FM. And for some great gift ideas, including pop sockets, hoodies, T-shirts, and more, go to amazon.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. And for more great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash me and and get some great books like Missing Once as well, too. That's amazon.com slash me and and order today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who started off as an actor and later became an award-winning author, national speaker, an executive career job search coach, and also a career innovator. That's um, you know, a very lengthy title as well, too. And uh, he's been a trained actor, got a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater, and offers a step-by-step guide to 
networking. So you don't have to act it out. All you do is network. It's been a big thing these days. And um, Nathan, his gentleman, will be uh, telling you about how to do it in 20 minutes or so. And of course, you know, like most, you say, say 15% or 15 minutes or anything like that. This guy will uh, help you create a network agenda, construct key questions, and a uh, thorough step-by-step -step process, 20 minutes or so. And it will give you more than 20 minutes of time. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios um, in beautiful Colorado. He's all over the place the very, very multi-talented award-winning author and actor of 20 Minute Network Marketing, Nathan Perez. Nathan, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, good morning, afternoon, and evening, Mike. I really appreciate, I appreciate that introduction. That was fantastic. Thanks so much, and thanks for having me on the show. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too. And, of course, uh, thank you for taking uh, 20 minutes out of your time. And if you want to, um, whoops, <laughs> a little chair here doesn't don't want to tolerate the 20 minutes. So <laughs> when I will give you 20 minutes and more as well, too, you can take as much time as you like. So you're an award-winning author, speaker, and executive career job search coach, and also a career innovator. And you're a trained actor, and you offer a step-by-step -step guide to networking. And you got a book called 20 minute network uh, networking meeting that's um, on Amazon as well too. And before getting to all that, tell us how I first got started, Nathan. Yeah, sure. Now, how I got started? You mean around the books, or just how I got started? Uh, you know, all the way up to this point. Um, let's just start from the very beginning, like with you uh, starting off as an actor and then working your way up. So you've been a trained actor, right. and um, you'll love to hear about how you got started. Yeah, so from college, I, in college, I studied theater arts with an emphasis in acting. I got my BFA, uh, and then I moved to New York City. That was my first market. I was there about uh, 10 years or so, mm -hmm. and then eventually, you know, working with the agencies out there, they they kind of helped me and pushed me to get out to L.A. I uh, spent uh, some time out there, but as, as I was doing all this, I uh, actually was developing kind of a, a business and professional career at the same time. Oh, really? um, you, you know, you may have heard, right, that some of us entertainers have to have a second job or like a day job to kind of survive as you go along. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't really great at food service. And uh, it made sense to start working. Uh, it made sense to start maybe oh working my in gosh. business. As soon as it says food service, I was about to get hungry. But then when he didn't recommend, it's like, uh-oh, I lost my appetite. Yeah, or at least not me bringing it to you. <laughs> yeah. So I started developing uh, my professional side of things. And uh, as things went forward, I ended up working in lots of day jobs. It started actually through temp agencies. I had, uh, I'm just around, just around 30 different day jobs. Mm -hmm. um, but over the course of time, when I decided to kind of let go of the acting and I discovered, you know, I think I really want to write full time. I had been writing this entire time. Um, I put down the acting, started writing, and uh, I was working in a, in, a, in a particular industry that's called, it's, it's the executive search industry. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's an industry in which uh, firms uh, are hired to, to find new executive leadership for other companies. And I met who is um, my co-author, and uh, she had a couple of ideas for books. She knew that I had been writing, and um, uh, networking was one of the topics, and I jumped all over it. Because uh, the 20 years that I was in the entertainment industry, you know, as people have heard, it's all about who you know. Right. Networking was key. And as it turns out, when it comes to job search and career development, it is also key. In fact, it's key to just about everything. So wrote the first book that was for executives that eventually turned into a total of four editions. And um, bless it, really fortunate. Um, across those four titles won about 10 national and international book awards around. Wow. And that brings us uh, up to date. And these days I, I'm an executive career coach. Um, I help people who either lose their jobs or are hoping to transition or, or kind of promote their own career mm -hmm. into uh, new things. And I'm a professional speaker in, in the career space. Hmm. That is very amazing. And coming from the acting background and working way up to being an executive job coach. And what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing today? So you think about what was that one moment that simply said to you, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? Yeah, that's a really great question. It was a moment in which I helped someone with their resume. Um, I had been dealing with my own resume and helping some other people, you know, just as friends do. But this is a really senior executive that was pretty visible in a really, really big company that's very mm. familiar to all of us. And as I worked on it, um, I realized that I really knew what I was talking about and how to oh, put wow. something into perspective. Yeah. And once I gave that resume back, uh, she was like, oh, my gosh, I've never seen anything quite like this. And I thought, maybe I do know something about this after all these years of going through it myself. And, and that was the click. That was it for me. Wow. That is something. Of course, I'm not going to 
ask uh, who it was, what company and everything like that. So, you know, and of course, you know, it's confidential and everything, but I can probably figure out uh, quite a number. It will just um, leave it to the imagination, they say. And, um, and, and of course, you know, getting into acting as well, too. Who are some of your favorite actors and, um, and you know, growing up and also maybe some movies as well, too, or uh, theater? Oh, hey, wow. Yeah. So actors. Well, I'm a Pacino, Al Pacino fan. Uh, Ian McKellen. Uh, a lot of the guys that uh, and, and girls that came out of the Royal Shakespeare Company, you can kind of name them. They were all real favorites of mine, but especially folks that um, that that tend to be like the stage actors first uh, and then go into film. There aren't that many of them. Almost all of those people in one way or another are kind of my favorites just because uh, I knew their work ahead of time on stage before they ended up in film and television. And uh, it makes it, you know, kind of a real favorite to see how they transform going from stage material into into uh, the television and film medium. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, talking about the transition as well, too, as you get into writing, who are your some of your favorite authors and writers growing up? Um, so John Irving is a real favorite author of mine. I love all of his books and Ken, Ken Follett or Ken Follet. I hear his name two different ways. I, I still don't know which I, one it is. I think I heard it's Follett, like in Follett Publishing. That's what I've heard. It's Follett. Unless you're in French, it's like Follet or in Canada or something. It's like, as far as I know, it's Follett. I could be wrong. Could be, could be, but he wrote a book called The Pillars of the Earth, and it's that guy. <laughs> Those are easily my two favorite, uh, my two favorite authors. And there's also, oh, her name is just slipping my mind at the moment, but she wrote the book, uh, Their Eyes Were Watching God, if Their you know this Their Eyes Were Watching God. Yeah, it was written in 1937. Uh, she's a, She was a Black author, and it's a phenomenal book, maybe about 200 pages long. And the phrasing and the dialogue is just unbelievable. So if you haven't seen or heard that book, it's really worth it. Real short, and it's very impactful. And, and what's the name of it again for our listeners and viewers? Their Eyes Were Watching God. Their Eyes Were Watching God. So we urge everybody to um, you know, get the book and everything. How about some of your other favorite books growing up? Boy, uh, let's see. Other favorite books. When You know, when I was really little, and this is something that I taught my kids to read on, was Charlotte's Web. I love Amazing that book. book. That's that's one of my son's favorite, Charles Webb. He even um, did the pig as well, too, and did an amazing job. The main character. I mean, <laughs> boy, he loved yeah. Charlotte's Webb so much. In fact, we loved it so much in our family that our, our little dog is named Charlotte. Really? One of, the, <laughs> one of the kids decided we're going to name her Charlotte, and that's how she got her name. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I think we'll name our uh, next dog or cat Charlotte as well, too, and our Charlotte Webb and um, you guys as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm writing yes. this down in the meantime. So, <laughs> and, and of course, you know, also being important with uh, more networking and more on, um, you know, writing and everything. We'll talk more about the book, 20 Minute Network Marketing. Networking meeting with Nathan Perez in just one minute. First, to listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SoundWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sound Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and even love and endorsed by Hollywood celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So great. Grab your copy today for Girls Missing by me and Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. 
Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com. Also support us on PayPal and Anchor FM. And for some great gift ideas, including T-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and a lot more, go to amazon.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. And for more great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and order your copy of Missing and also his great books today. So amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia order right now. We're here with author Nathan Perez of 20 minute networking meeting here on the Mike Wagner show. And, um, you know, tell us a bit about the book and uh, what inspired you to write it. And um, if you did in 20 minutes, I mean, I'll be surprised. So, <laughs> <laughs> Right. So the book is very specifically, at least in this way, it's, it's geared toward people who are in job search or career development. But when you, I'll go through the steps here in a minute to kind of explain what it's all about. Mm -hmm. But, um, and once you hear it, you'll understand that this can be used for any kind of networking. As it turns out, pretty much all networking, there are different purposes, there are different outcomes, but all networking is still the same when it comes down to it. Um, and, and so the book itself, what we did is, um, because we knew that it was very, very important for job search and career development. Um, my co-author, Marsha Ballinger, she was already very, very aware of this because of her own industry at the time, which was the, the, the retained executive search industry. And I had been in that uh, industry for about five or six years at that point. But then pulling from my entertainment background, we just knew this was going to be very important to get out there. But we've had so many networking experiences on our own that did not go well both on our side, but especially on the other side. Um, usually when people get into a networking meeting, it's just all over the map. No one really knows how to handle it, what to do, what to say, or how much time to take. And when it comes to time, time tends to be the deciding factor of people accepting a request. Mm -hmm. And it's because, you know, sometimes people get burned. Uh, so, you know, someone says, hey, Mike, I just need 20 or 30 minutes of your time. But the next thing you know, it's an hour later. And oh, it feels like yeah, oh, we've been there. Mm hmm. Yeah, and it's really hard and you get one or two of those. And by the time you get a third request, even though you want to help, you don't feel like maybe you should take that meeting because it's not a good use of the time. Mm -hmm. So we ended up building this book. And what we did is we took the five most important uh, parts of a meeting and then assigned time limits to them. Would you like me to go through the kind of go through those steps? Absolutely. And there's people out there looking for jobs right now or looking to network or about to go on a search or transition. I think this is very important right now, especially during these times, Nathan. So if you go through five steps, that would greatly help everyone appreciate as well, too. And of course, you know, we're always networking all the time, always changing. I love to hear it. That's right. And, and exactly as you said. So before I get into this, um, I should probably uh, kind of ride your coattails there on the point that you made. We are always networking all the time. And this book will transform and completely redefine what networking is to you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's sort of the networking has a negative connotation that kind of comes with it. And what happens is we, we sort of um, pin behaviors to this word. So we kind of think it's salesy or it's about name dropping or it's about, you know, that greasy, slick and smooth kind of networking. And, it, and really, it's not what networking really is, is just about, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just about the obtainment of information. Hmm. and the exchange of information. So these steps are, are all designed to help you garner that kind of information that helps you with your job search or career development. So the first step, there are a total of five steps, and there are a few different components to each one of these steps, but I'll kind of keep it high level. The first step is very simple. And, and you know, before I even begin, I'm gonna say all of this is gonna sound very familiar to everybody mm -hmm. because we are actually doing this stuff all the time. So the first step is a great first impression of you. That's just a couple of minutes long. You know, it's a bright smile and a, and a firm handshake, right? And mm -hmm. eye contact. And then the second step is about a 30 to 60 second snapshot of your background. We call it the great overview. Mm -hmm. um, and that great overview is probably one of the most critical parts of any kind of meeting, because what you're doing is you're not just giving someone an understanding of what you know how to do and what your experience is, but you're actually also providing context mm -hmm. for your great discussion, which is the next step. OK, so that's step number three, the great discussion. And the great discussion is actually broken down into five key questions. The first three are very specifically formulated for your contact by the research that you have done ahead of the meeting. Because of course, you would never really hold a networking meeting with somebody believing that they could help you when you know nothing about them. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So you have to do your research on the person and, of course, their organization. So the first three questions are for them. The fourth question is, and this is where networking, this is what throws networkers. And yet it's a major objective of your overall networking. And that is asking for more people to meet with, Hmm. more names. And usually there's a lot of fear around that. You know, no one wants to give names or it's uncomfortable and it's weird and so forth and so on. But you got to remember, if someone said yes to your meeting in the first place, it's because they wanted to help you. So they're likely to help you with that. It's also a networking meeting. You know, when it comes to this kind of meeting, that's a question that's sort of um, expected to be asked. Plus, uh, people are asking this question all the time with everybody and every industry, every experience level out there. So you can feel confident and okay asking that, asking that question. The fifth question of step number three, and this is the big one. So if the first, if that last one throws us as a networker, this is the one that really surprises your contact. And that question is, how can I help? you okay that's a very now, good point very good point how can i help you i think that's the most important one i agree absolutely it, it is a game changer uh the, the first book in this uh, of all the four editions um was written almost 10 years ago and it i get i still get emails all the time about the power of this question and what it does but we also have to kind of remember you know networking um is not about that slick and smooth stuff The cornerstone, the real cornerstone of networking is relationship building. Okay, Mm -hmm. that's where the key is. And this question uh, changes it all. That's what really helps develop the relationship. It sends a signal of this is not all about me and take, take, take. This is about both of us. So thank you so much for all the help you've given me. Is there a way that I can help you in return? Mm -hmm. So that's key question number five of step number three. And then uh, step number four is wrapping up the meeting. And step number five is following up afterward. That's it. And like I said, uh, all this stuff is probably very familiar to everybody, just but just hasn't had the process or the practice behind it. Mm, That is interesting. I mean, you've did it in like about, um, you you know, less than 20 minutes. I was keeping track of time. And that is amazing what you did. (laughs) Amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and of course, you know, you know, I do a good job of creating a network to uh, to keep things on track. And of course, expanding the network and uh, professional background, 60 seconds or less. When you talk about the whole thing with um, giving us a 30, 60, 60 seconds, in a way, it's like you're kind of doing an, an ad of yourself. Yeah. And in a, in a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. of So uh, when, when you give that great overview that um, that I was talking about, that snapshot of your background, that is very specifically constructed. And in a way, it is a little bit like an ad of yourself because you're talking about your experiences as it relates to this opportunity that you are seeking. And then the overall meeting itself, the way that it's structured out. Yeah. A lot of people actually walk away, leaving the impression with their contacts that, you know, it's a tight meeting that they know exactly what they're doing and they know exactly what they are after. And that in and of itself is the sales. You should never really go and try and sell yourself that that's not something that you do when you talk about and articulate your background and experiences in a way that other people really understand. That is the salesmanship all on its own, just your experience. Mm, and not just sales, but also looking for a job or lending the next opportunity or say with um, you're interested in uh, getting a product. It applies just about everything you do. That's right. Yeah, it really does. And this networking right now, we're kind of talking about a job search and career development. But networking in and of itself is arguably the most important skill to have in all of business. And the reason why is it touches every single aspect of business from employee hiring to internships and sales and business development and marketing. And then, of course, job search and career development. It's all about relationships, right? If it involves people, then it involves relationships. And if and if a cornerstone of networking is relationship building, then networking is involved in, in literally every single thing that we do. Now, having said that, Networking again, right, is all it is is about the obtainment or the exchange of information. And if that is the case, that means every single discussion that we ever, ever have is kind of networking Mm -hmm. because that's all that it is. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic as well, too. The fact um, that you network just about uh, anytime, anywhere. And um, and, and how much do you think social media has helped out when it comes to uh, networking? 
Quite a bit. Well, I think social media, what that has allowed, uh, what, what the technology itself has allowed is the facilitation of being able to actually connect people. But from there, it's really kind of up to us. The tech can only get us that, that connection. But once we're there, we're responsible for developing the relationship, establishing or reestablishing contact with people, and then um, getting to know people from there. So the mm -hmm. tech is fantastic, but it's still on us to develop the relationships. That's very true too. And uh, and, and how does your um, networking method uh, differ from the uh, other network networking methods out there too? Like say now, or maybe five, ten, even like say twenty, thirty years ago. Uh, that's a good question. Now the big big difference is that uh, it's more intentional. Now you are being very, you have done your research and from your research, you develop very specific questions for people. And then when you reach out and you have this meeting, you're being very conscious and respectful of time. Uh, and then when you get to the very end of things, you're asking, how can I help in return? A long time ago, what it might've been was, you know, sitting down with someone for an hour and thinking that the longer the time I spend with somebody, the better that's going to be for me. But that's not honoring time. That's not being prepared. Uh, and it, and it kind of goes all over the place. It's not structured and intentional. So mm -hmm. a, a pretty big difference these days. And, you know, the purpose of the book, uh, to keep it at 20 minutes is to kind of keep things on track, make sure that you're there to talk about what you want to talk about. And then that's it. It's not like back in the day when you were just hope to kind of pick someone's brain for an hour, like they had that time. We live in a faster world. This is designed to be able to, uh, to handle the faster, the, the faster pace of business. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, uh, how can we uh, pick up the book as well too? Where can we find your book? You can find the book on Amazon. You can find it on the Kindle app. You can find this on iTunes. You can get it at Barnes & Noble. In fact, you can order it from just about uh, any bookstore as well. And if you're interested in an audio book, you can find that on my website. That is NathanAPerez.com. And by the way, it is voiced by me. It'll sound familiar. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you do this in 20 minutes? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, record the whole book in 20 minutes? No. Well, we might have <laughs> recorded kidding. about half a chapter in 20 minutes, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes, a disclaimer. Don't take it literal, folks. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and what's coming up for uh, Nathan Perez? Um, you know, after a twenty-minute networking meeting um, on the Mike Widener Show, we'll find out in just a minute. Listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow dot com, powered by Soundweb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios dot com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Motz and Zia of Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back with author Nathan Perez of the 20 minute networking meeting after this timeout. The Mike Wagner show is powered by Sonic web studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. It's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show.
We're back with author Nathan Perez of the 20 minute networking meeting here on the Mike Wagner show. He covered uh, just a lot of the books and uh, also award-winning author, speaker, network um, executive uh, career coach and everything and um, offering step-by-step. He went over the details very greatly. And um, also um, how can people come to you for uh, job advice and how can they reach you? Uh, you can reach me through LinkedIn. You can also reach me through uh, the website, NathanAPerez.com. There's also a dedicated uh, website for the books themselves. That's 20MM.com, as in 20-minute networking meeting. And either one of those uh, contact pages, you can actually reach out to me. And I'm happy to, to chat with you. Sounds great as well, too. And what can you expect from me in 2021 and beyond, Nathan? Uh, expect from me in 20, 20, 2021 and beyond. 2021 uh, and beyond, on- yes. It- and you don't have to do it in 20 minutes either. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I could fill that 20 minutes with that. Um, <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty succinct. Well, um, you know, I do quite a bit of speaking. You're going to see some stuff popping up on LinkedIn and probably uh, YouTube. Uh, and I'm also working on two more books. One of them is going to be kind of a companion book to the 20 minute networking meeting where you get into a little more depth. Uh, again, redefining networking and what it really is uh, and how to build relationships in that way. And then another one, I'm going to kind of go back to my roots a little bit and, and dive into some fiction. Nice, nice. And uh, and what kind of fiction um, are we um, lo- looking to expect from you? Uh, in this case, this is a book that I'm actually going to write for my boys. Uh, I've been collecting notes for about the past 10 years, and uh, I'm just now starting to organize them. And uh, it's going to be a little bit sort of like a life lesson book about wow. what things look like, you know, at the age that they are now and kind of things to expect as life goes on. Okay. That's very amazing. We're looking forward to that. We'd love to have you back on in 2020 and beyond with uh, a lot of great updates from you. And we're here with author Nathan Perez of the 20 minute networking meeting here on the Mike Wagner show. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career, Nathan? In my career, boy, you know, I've had, here's the thing, Mike, that I have literally had three to four completely full careers Uh, So when I started as an actor, uh, I had some agents and some just fellow actors who were the biggest inspiration to me. They aren't necessarily famous people, but people who work uh, all the time. And on the business side of all of all places that I ended up working, my first professional job happened to be in the general counsel's office at Goldman Sachs in New York City. Yeah. And um, and then eventually that was moved into the executive office where I, where I was one of the executive assistants to uh, Henry Paulson when John Corzine was leaving as CEO. Wow. And um, I learned quite a lot from the folks in, in that office in, in professional ways, but also um, personally. And then fast forward through the years, I, because of all the different industries I've had the opportunity to work in, um, there are a few different authors. Uh, let's see, there were two or three of them. Um, is there one that I can name that, that that would be good and not embarrassing? Maybe I should just leave that one alone. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> but to be real honest with you, I, 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 I kind of hesitate to use the word heroes, but in a sense, they're kind of heroes. And there's multiple. I don't have just a single one or two. I've seen amazing people in different industries do amazing things. And all of it has been inspiring to me. That is very inspiring as well, too. Not just one, but several. I mean, you live a really good life, I got to say, Nathan. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Have confidence that other people want to help. Have confidence that other people want to talk to you, too. You know, I'm asked a question a lot of times. You know, what happens when I go to a social event or a networking event? Uh, I'm the wallflower. Well, I get that because believe it or not, even though I may sound the way that I sound, I am an introvert as well. Mm -hmm. Um, For those of you that are introverts, I am a hardwired introvert. Um, What defines an extrovert is someone who recharges and they get their energy when they've been around people, right? And by contrast, an introvert is defined as someone who recharges and gets energy when they are someone who has a sufficient amount of time to self-reflect. And that would be me. So when you're at a networking event or when you're out there just in the world, have discussions with people. Because when you feel like a wallflower at such an event, believe it, you can be assured that if you just look around the room, most of the other people at that event feel the same way. And if you've ever felt relieved that someone will come up and talk to you, say the first words, and you're like, oh, okay, now I'm going to start get going. Now I'm going to be able to get into conversation. Well, you can be that person. Be bold. Go out there. Have the conversations. You will be pleased as to how pleased other people are to, to discuss with you and how they'll be willing to help you in, in just about any way that you'd like. 
That is fantastic advice. I'm learning a lot from you, Nathan. And of course, so uh, we're here with author Nathan Perez of uh, 20 Minute Network and being here on the Mike Wagner Show. Nathan, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your books? Yes, you can find the books on Amazon, iTunes, the Kindle app. You can order it from your bookstore. You can find the audio book on my website, NathanAPerez.com, or on the book website, 20 mmcom Keep an eye out. Uh, I'm going to be developing a new book. It's a companion book to the 20-minute networking meeting that's going to get into a little more depth on this mystery of networking. And uh, yeah, and in, in maybe about a year or so, I'll be on that fiction book that's uh, for the boys, that, that life lessons book. So uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn. Send me a note there or link with me there sounds good we're looking forward to it once again nathan a very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely fantastic looking forward to having you again soon do us a favor keep us up to date love you back on in 2021 and don't forget to keep in touch and um we'll do it again in about 20 minutes or another 20 minutes and another 20 minutes we'll just keep going and going and going that's right thanks again mike thanks for having me on the show hey everybody my name is forbes riley and i'm an american actress and a tv host And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and Increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.